2017 was a busy year, so why don't I start the year round up with the busiest cycleway in the Netherlands? And this busy cycle crossing in Eindhoven. Throughout the year I showed you cycling from all over the Netherlands on all sorts of infrastructure. Sometimes in the dark, sometimes in the rain, and sometimes even in the snow. Rotterdam featured quite often in my videos this year. I showed you brand new cycleways, a tunnel, and a long ride through the entire city. I also rode in the countryside from Schijndel to Sertogenbosch and from Utrecht to Amersfoort. There were a couple of before and afters, showing you how the infrastructure is constantly being improved, sometimes by completely transforming an intersection or by fixing a missing link with just minimal changes. Flow is an innovation that uses animals to tell you how to adjust your speed to catch the next green light. There is no need to adjust your speed if you can bypass other traffic on a viaduct. Some spectacular new bridges were opened. This one in Utrecht is special because the access ramp is on the roof of an integrated primary school. Unfortunately, the other new Utrecht bridge has no cyclable ramp, but it is still a wonderful bridge, which is beautifully lit at night. Just like this garden bridge in Sertogenbosch. This new bridge is plain but effective. Whereas this one is meant to be elegant. This new tunnel got a lot of criticism. While a temporary detour via a tunnel in Utrecht got a lot of praise. Amsterdam temporarily rerouted a cycleway through a building under construction. Amsterdam was the location of a big anti-scooter protest. Yes, scooter riders are still using the cycleways. Groningen revoked priority for cycling at this busy intersection after protests from residents and the police. In Utrecht, the protest came from people cycling. They complained about the long waiting times at traffic lights. Other lights in Utrecht were switched off after citizens reported they found them unnecessary. Utrecht wants to give pedestrians more space, but it reconsidered a cycling ban in some streets that are to be pedestrianized. I explained that pedestrians in the Netherlands have a great freedom to cross the streets wherever they like. A more difficult concept to explain is sustainable safety. I gave it a try in a co-production with Professor Firth from Northeastern University in Boston. I showed you some bicycle parking facilities. Here is an entrance in Sertogenbosch. And this is the entrance to what will become the largest bicycle parking garage in the world. Utrecht built it under its new central station square. It is so large that you can cycle inside. 
But Utrecht also has tiny neighborhood parking facilities. I cycled in other countries in 2017. In Brisbane, for instance. And here with the Netherlands ambassador in Canberra. I was shown good and bad examples of cycling innovations in three cities in Australia. Such as these active travel streets in Perth. Someone's actually using it. <laughs> I shared some of my knowledge with the Australians. The person, the people. And broke their law when I cycled with the wind in my hair, as I have done safely all my life. In Barcelona, I saw how the city makes neighborhoods more livable in the impressive super blocks. Vienna gives cycling a green light. It wants to increase active travel at the expense of private motor vehicles. The city still has a lot of work to do. Many people came to the Netherlands to experience cycling here. I gave a lot of tours and presentations. Arnhem was one of the host cities of VeloCity 2017. Together with Nijmegen, where the King of the Netherlands opened the international conference that almost had too many interesting presentations. And there was a cycle tour for the delegates to give them the experience that cycling is a lot of fun. Keep enjoying it. I know I will. Also in 2018.